Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. To you. And you, and you, and you. <laughs> Hope everybody is like awakening and opening their presence. Anybody that follows that tradition. Uh, having an awesome day. You know, I'd rather kind of like let the news go today, but uh, there's just things whacking me in the head. So we'll roll with it. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to roll with it. But we will try to do something um, a little bit lighter and more upbeat later. We just feel, again, uh, that we need to cover what needs to change in this world. And, uh, again, we want to thank our Patreons for all their support as every video goes up on Patreon. Sometimes we do have issues getting videos up in other areas. Um, but thankfully, everything has been good over there. So here you have a Christmas gift from the children of Lebanon to all the children in the Holy Land. And, and the reality is all land is holy. You know, it, the temple is where the heart is. The temple, the church, the whatever, whatever you want to utilize as a tool to connect you to the divine, you really don't need anything other than yourself. No, you don't. I mean, your temple is the temple. Absolutely. You know, and, and this is a beautiful picture, right? I mean, kids being creative and, and having fun. And this is what needs to be cultivated on the world. Um, and yet, if we could ever find a way to do it in a non-divisive way, uh, that would be a beautiful thing. Uh, so here we have confirmed Israel just killed the Iranian general Saeed Razi Mousavi, according to IRGC officer in Syria. This was an airstrike in Damascus, Syria. So they took out a Iranian general. If we can't see uh, the writing on the wall, and I know you guys get it, um, it's just so apparent that this is still uh, on a ever-increasing escal escalatory path. And here you have Israel's army calling on residents of the Barej uh, camp near Wadi, Gaza, to evacuate immediately so they're not stopping for Christmas. The bombs will keep dropping. As you see, Israel routinely dropping U.S. supplied 2,000-pound bombs in dense civilian areas. And in fact, you know, again, this is one of, Gaza is one of the most densely populated areas on Earth. More people per square uh, foot, meter, yard, mile, whatever way you want to look at it or measure it, there was. <laughs> uh, it's this narrow strip of land right on the water that is so densely populated, like if you've ever been through uh, New York City, you know, it, it's along those lines. And, and it's just uh, such a recipe for disaster, and we don't know really. Again, we really don't know how many people have lost their lives. It could be so much more than what we've been told so far. You know, when they're dropping these massive bombs on these densely populated areas, you certainly are, it's not precision strikes. And even when they use those terms, precision strikes, that was still just more political BS. The reality is, you know, this is just an atrocity beyond description. Somebody said, uh, don't use the term war. Well, it, all this is a war on humanity. And, and that's the reality of it, because those that are truly controlling all this uh, ultimately are not human. Yes, they're absolutely demonic when you get down to it. And, you know, they're not like us. And in, in, in when we say that, I mean, you know, they, they don't have really any soul left so to speak well the the source spark is it, it lacking to a very high degree so it's very difficult for them to connect with that source yeah the temple of god lies within each and every one of us that that hasn't given our soul away over to the chaos and negative energy where it can be just utilized as a source of energy and that's exactly what is the bigger picture uh, as we will be talking about and yet another instance in which politics and Hollywood um, are one and the same. And that's tomorrow's video that's going to be released on evolutionary and uh, more to come along those lines. Because I think this is the time to recognize that when you're talking politicians and actors, there's no difference. They're all one and the same. 
there is zero difference. Uh, they all basically get their scripts and they all act their parts. And we have to recognize that it's all against us, all of humanity. And we need to stop subdividing ourselves into different little groups. As you see uh, this tweet, um, he, Jackson Hinkle uh, says, why are we funding Israeli terrorism? As you see them targeting a 600-year-old monastery. Well, again, this the whole intention of this is to bring about division between Christians, between Christians, Jews, Christians, Jews, Muslims, Christian Jews, Muslims, atheists, throw in the Hindus, throw in, you know, the Buddhists, whatever way we can be divided, they will figure out a way to divide us. Whatever would really tweak you the most, they'll figure out a way to tweak you. This is what they do. So as you see, uh, Netanyahu here to all our Christian friends around the world, Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, Draco 1, 2, and 3 uh, surrounding him, using him as a human meat puppet. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. They enjoy that. And this is the reality of it. And people can wake it up, can wake up and see what truly is demonic, as she says. And now pack your bags for prison. Well, he'll he'll end up off on some island somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, that island. Well, he's probably been there. Uh, King Charles III delivers his Christmas message from the room behind Buckingham Palace balcony, which has been decorated with a living Christmas tree. And meanwhile, four Dracos are helping him put the balls on the tree. You know, I just I just want to point out the the eyes. Look at the eyes, and both of these guys go go back to uh, what's his name even, and look at his eyes, and then look at the eyes of of what's his name that we just looked at. A moment ago with the three Draco because the eyes tell it the eyes are the ones that that's the soul that's the energy that's captivated that's the energy that they all carry and you can just see it you can see it in the eyebrows you can see like this listlessness in the eyes there is like no real life there and there is no real readable life with the exception i mean look at he's got one eye a little bit closed there so it's like they yeah, that's the, a left one. it's a left <laughs> one right so it takes this i mean almost looks like it's it's not even a real eye the way it is at this moment now out. you can obviously catch people at you know as they're moving and and uh, things can look distorted but the reality is recognize evil where you see it and these these are both pure evil and and it's you know again we could find people at the top levels of of other nations like BRICS nations and we'll find that they're you know the exact same thing because you know this is two sides of the same coin as he's blinking now this reminds me of my uh one of my first bosses who is of (laughs) uh the one of the big Illuminati families and boy can he go off and he's just was so draconian actually has the same sort of um, facial structures as the red shield yeah you can't hide evil in in this age you can't hide evil as people are waking up more and more and and again he is related to Vlad Tepes who is the real Dracula who used to literally just enjoy dining while people were impaled and slowly dying in front of him this is exactly who runs the show here on this planet. Because, again, the, the true controllers, you can say that they are demonic, and if you want to call them fallen angels and it makes your, your heart happy, then go for it. You know, again, the reality is that this is a multi-dimensional uh, war, and it's also <laughs> multi-planetary, uh, and in fact is, is a galactic war. I agree completely. Well, I'm glad you do. (laughs) So, meanwhile, we see this. Islamists planned huge attacks in Europe on Christian sites over the Christmas period. Now, I've talked about this before. Nostradamus, in fact, said, and again, Nostradamus was one of them. And this is the thing to realize. So, instead of saying that I recognize Nostradamus for having great gifts of prophecy, what I'm saying is Nostradamus is one of the controllers. He worked for the controllers. He worked for the crown. He worked for the um, for the official church powers as well. So, he's a controller. So, he knows the plan. 
and he was used as a tool for the for the controllers. He did have gifts, but that doesn't matter it, so much. It, it's more the fact that he was in on um, privy of of the plans of of the elites. So that's why we go back to him. Now, Alois Ermiler, somebody else um, that we bring up, you know, he, he's a good soul, and not that Nostradamus is, is an evil soul, because he realizes he was used by the controllers uh, to maintain and accelerate their plans. But Alois, um, you know, there's rumors that he was uh, taken out by the controllers, and as he died of cancer, I want to say, I don't know, maybe 59 or something like that. He wasn't very, very old. Um, relatively speaking, and there's others as well that have, uh, quote unquote, the gifts of prophecy. Uh, you know, the, the gifts of prophecy are not something that is just given to people of a certain dogma. Uh, this is the totally, totally ridiculous mindset that the controllers so. They're the ones that give us the dogma. The, the reality is, you know, source, God, the real to, true creative uh, source of everything lies within all of us. You need nothing else. It's just that simple. You need nothing else. If you utilize other tools, that's up to you. If you want to take away uh, from the whole Christmas thing, you know, throwing a, a tree up and, and sharing presents and you don't really believe in anything else as far as the dogma goes, that's fine. Again, utilize what makes your heart happy and discard the rest. And, and you know, if you're f fearful, if you do things out of fear, then you know you're doing things because you've been indoctrinated into a system that utilizes fear as its main tool this again you can look at this as 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 fear fear-based yes absolutely yet what do we see from nostradamus's prophecies of the third world war that they send ahead people into the countries send ahead before the main troops come before the actual troops come that are going to fight the battle they send ahead clever men with bombs and weapons hidden under their robes is how Lawless men, yes. Uh, so, you know, hidden amongst those migrants and, and immigrants that are, are being sent in in mass, literally by the UN when you get down to it, um, you know, hidden in there are those we could truly call terrorists because they will be setting off bombs. They will be destroying cities and, and, and creating all sorts of chaos. As, you know, again, this is uh, utilizing one more time you know, Islam versus Christianity and its ideology, which both religions have been basically fomented, fomented to use the words of um, a 33rd degree Mason. In other words, when we say fomented, th these, these religious ideologies have been created by the very system that then utilizes them to destroy each other and progress the plans of the system. <clears throat> it, it's it's a pattern that they just continue continue to follow you know i'm not sure what else to say about it except for we have to see it for what it is psychopaths will be psychopaths right. and psychopaths are are what we have in high positions around the world the highest positions are occupied by psychopaths so yes you know this would not surprise me at all and it might not happen you know during christmas it, it might it might happen after it, it might be in retaliation to an attack on a general or it might be a, a retaliation on somebody somebody else uh that gets taken out at some point in time born in a police state the deep state's persecution of its most vulnerable citizens and this is talking about the christmas story and what if yeshua jesus was born today well there's no difference the only difference is the level of technology that's openly displayed but otherwise there's no difference because you know again rome was in the position that the u.s has been in and that they have targeted for the BRICS nations uh and you know again you had the the english empire and then you had the holy roman empire and and we've had all different sorts of empires and empires come and they go but the control system has stayed intact behind the scenes for thousands of years 
So when Yeshua came and when he was accosted uh, by the political structure of the day, the mainstream religions of the day, you know, again, when we're talking the Pharisees and the Sadducees and saying that he's saying sacrilegious things, I do think that part is accurate. And I do think he, he would overturn uh, the money lending tables in, in a temple. Yeah, absolutely. I do think he would lash out against the system because he was a rebel against the system. That's that's his whole reason for coming. It wasn't blood sacrifice. No, his reason for coming was to say, you guys are in a matrix. Uh, they they have you fighting amongst yourselves. They, they, they have you um, missing the whole point of existence and giving away your power. Greater things you will do. How could that possibly be the case if he is the only begotten begotten Son of God? And then again, Elohim is the original term that's in the plural. Look to Moro Bellino, who is suffering from, uh, it looks to me, I was worried it was Parkinson's, he was saying Tourette's. Um, he is a Vatican translator that does a better job than I do at describing exactly what really is in the Bible, because what most true believers believe is in the Bible is not in the Bible. And they're believing a distortion that's given to us by th that which we could call the deep state. That's sort of correct, yeah. You know, and, and again, nothing has changed. This is the reality. As long as we keep allowing ourselves to be divided, nothing will ever change. There was a Christmas truce in 1914, World War One. And a soldier wrote a poem as he was in the trenches there. This was brutal. And again, you know, they use these global world wars, and of which we are at the dawn of World War III. Um, and if we are to take uh, the prophecy of Alois Ermeller and some others, more people will be lost in the initial opening salvo than World War One and Two combined in, in the matter of just, you know, the blink of an eye. This poem, let me give you this poem, you know, his, he's, and this is written in a little bit of a, a lyric, a rhyme there. Oh, my name is Francis Tulliver. I come from Liverpool. Two years ago, the war was waiting for me after school from Belgium and to Flanders, Germany. To here I fought for king and country I love dear. I guess he likes the lizards. Well, the reality is he, he doesn't understand at, at the point of this you know when when you're a young kid you're just thinking i'm gonna make my name in the world i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that twas christmas in the trenches and the frost so bitter hung the frozen fields of france were still no christmas songs were sung our families back in england were toasting us that day these brave and glorious lads so far away i was lying with my messmates on the cold and rocky ground when Across the lines of battle came a most peculiar sound. Says I now listen up me boys, each soldier strained to hear as one young German voice sang out so clear. He's singing bloody well, you know, my partner says to me. Soon one by one each German voice joined in harmony. The cannons rested silent and the gas clouds rolled no more as Christmas bought us a respite from the war. As soon as they were finished and a reverent pause was spent, God rest ye merry gentlemen struck up some lads from Kent. The next thing sang was Still Knock, or Silent Night. Says I, and in two tongues, one song filled up that sky. There's someone coming towards us now, frontline sentry said. All sights were fixed on one lone figure trudging from their side. His truce flag like a Christmas star shone on the plain so bright. As he bravely trudged unarmed into the night, then one by one on either side walked into no man's land with neither gun nor bayonet. We met there hand to hand. We shared some secret brandy and we wished each other well. And in a flare lit football game, we gave them hell. We traded chocolate, cigarettes, and photographs from home. These sons and fathers led away from families of their own. Young Sanders played the squeeze box, and they had a violin, this curious and unlikely band of men. Soon daylight stole upon us, and France was France once more. With sad farewells, we began to settle back into war. But the question haunted every heart that lived that wondrous night, whose family I have fixed within my sights. T'was Christmas in the trenches, and the frost so bitter hung. The frozen fields of France were warmed, the song of peace were sung. For the walls they kept between us, 
to exact the work of war had been crumbled and were gone forevermore. Oh, my name is Francis Tolliver from Liverpool. I dwell with each Christmas comes since World War I. I have learned its lesson well. For the ones who call the shots won't be among the dead and lame. And on each end of the rifle, we're all the same. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <clears throat> Definitely. I mean, the last sentence says so much that <clears throat> the, you know, those, the elites, they're not going to be there. They're not going to understand. And this guy, he has a, a keen understanding of, of who who is calling the shots, what is going on. <clears throat> and it, he's he's just at this point, he's just a tool. But, you know, they they were able to find that moment in humanity where they put all their differences aside and they were just human. So how much of this is being just human and how much of this is dictated, I think, is easy to see. You can see 99% of what these men are having to do is being dictated from an external force. But that 1% of the energy where hearts are able to connect, that's the essence of humanity. Absolutely. And on that, we will leave you. May you all be blessed with peace, love, and light. God bless and namaste. Namaste.